love light and blessings this is shamanic awa priestess here and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be about a spirit that people lovingly called mama francisca otherwise known as la negra francisca so before we get into this video about this wonderful folk saint um i would like to make a couple of announcements like i always do and then we'll get right into the video so before we get started with today's video, like I said, and we're going to be talking about the fabulous Mama Francisca, a.k.a. La Negra Francisca. Um, I am a full-time reader, for those of you that don't know. So if you want to book a tar tarot reading, a psychic tarot reading, or a spell, because um, I do cast spells on a full-time basis, or if you want mentorships or any of my other specialized or spiritual services, you can go to my website at shamanicawebpriestess.com. Also, I'm going to be accepting donations through PayPal using my email, shamanicawakpriestess at gmail.com. I'm going to try to put that information in the description box of this video like I do with my website. And I'm going to be asking anybody who wants to participate in Fetgede, which is going to be open to the um, members, anybody who's a member in my member um, my memberships, you can donate ten dollars and i will light a candle on your behalf for asking the spirits to bless your family members that have passed on to the other side or as a homage um, to anybody who's passed on the other side i just ask that if you want me to light a candle for any of your ancestors to please when you're making the payment through the paypal um email shamanic eyewear priestess dot um shamanic eyewear at gmail.com that's how you could pay me through PayPal. Um, once you make that $10 donation, make sure that you send me an email letting me know who is the person you want me to light that candle for. You know, if somebody just passed away and you want them to go into the light, or if you just want to elevate someone who passed away, those candles will be lit on my ancestor, aka Fegede altar for Thursday, October 31st, the first day of Fegede, um, and throughout November 2nd of 2024. Okay, so that's the first announcement. Um, and if you want to become a member, you can definitely become a member. Just click the join button and you can become a member. There's three different levels to that. Okay. Um, and if you want to support my channel and it's free, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment below and raise the algorithm. All right, now back to this video. So Mama Francisca. Okay, who is Mama Francisca? So Mama Francisca is a folk saint, okay? And she resided in Venezuela, okay? I always tell people that there's more that unites us than separate us. As most of you know, or at least I've mentioned many times on this channel, there's a diaspora throughout many parts of the world, okay? Um, a lot of us are descendants of enslaved indigenous people or people of African descent that came from Africa or have African descent, okay? That did not just happen in the United States. This history is also shared um, throughout the diaspora in many Latin American countries, Caribbean countries, so on and so forth, okay? So Mama Francisca was an Afro-Latina spirit, okay? So this is usually the statue they use to represent Mama Francisca. And she was of Afro-Latino descent, okay? She is part of a court in Venezuela that is of Maria Luenzas, okay? And she's part of the African court. I will be talking about Maria Luenza in the future and La Tres Potencia, the three powers and all that in the future. But right now I want to focus on Mama Francisca, okay? So she's from that African court in the Venezuelan tradition, okay? Afro-Venezuelan tradition. Um, she was a real person, okay? Um, La Madama, we talked about in a previous video, she was a group of spirits. Mama Francisca is one specific spirit, okay? She is actually a real, she was a real living, living breathing human being, okay? Um, and she is a very pivotal and important part of black history, and she has given her contributions um, in spirituality, okay? 
So why Mama Francisca is so important? Again, she is a historical figure. She was once a living, breathing human being, okay? She escaped slavery in Cuba, okay? So again, like I said, we have um, ancestry of African descent throughout the diaspora, even in places like Cuba, okay? Um, she escaped slavery in Cuba, and in many parts of the diaspora, we will have these um, places that were established by formerly enslaved ancestors that were called palenques, okay? There was palenques throughout the diaspora, okay? When she freed herself, she became a freedom fighter, okay? A revolutionary leader. Alongside her husband, in Negro Felipe, which we'll be talking about on the next installment of this series, okay? To this day, she is very highly venerated in Venezuela, where she also established palenques and practiced her spirituality in a sacred mountain in Venezuela. And her devotees to this day still make a yearly pilgrimage to the specific Venezuelan mountain and honor and venerate this spirit that's called Mama Francisca, okay? She is believed to be a contributor to modern day, uh, well, I don't wanna say modern day, but she infused African spirituality, indigenous spiritualities. So she's one of the mothers of espiritismo, okay? Spiritualism, being able to intercede in the physical realm through the spirits because she was able to channel spirits, speak to spirits, make prophecies she was very psychic she was a herbalist she was a healer and she believed that all black people that all people should be free from slavery okay she to this day still bestows unconditional love to her devotees and spiritual protection she's so good again to enhance your mediumship to enhance your spell work okay she offers spiritual and physical protection okay so she is such a beautiful spirit i love working with her um she is part in some traditions of the division negra the black division um in many different um traditions so um, i've seen people be devotees of her in espiritismo uh, uh 21 um not 21 um espiritismo sancismo and so on and so forth so a lot of people confuse this statue when I was doing the mentorship to La Madama, to La Madama, no, Mama Francisca or La Negra Francisca is her very own spirit, okay? She is her very own spirit. Some believe that she practiced Falo Mayombe and other traditions, okay? So because of spirits like her, we're able to continue on our spiritual practices from the diaspora. So again, this is a great spirit, spirit to celebrate during the season of the Gede because she is an ancestor spirit as well. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have personally worked with Mama Francisca, have you ever heard of Mama Francisca? Let me know your experiences in the comment section below. As always, much love, much light, and much blessings, and until the next video, guys. Bye.